How does amplitude change with frequency? The amplitude of the wave depends upon the energy of the wave that it carries. If the energy of the wave is large then the velocity will be more and hence the amplitude of the wave may be shorter, and if the frequency of the wave is small that implies, the energy associated with the wave is less, then the amplitude of the wave will be large. If the amplitude of the wave decreases then the speed of the wave has to be increased logically, but if the energy associated with the wave is less, then the speed will also be reduced. Since energy is directly related to the frequency of the wave, that is E equals HF, E equals F corresponding to that, if the frequency is increased then the energy will be more and hence the amplitude of the wave will rise and if the frequency is shorter, then the energy pertaining to the wave will be less and hence the amplitude thus generated will be smaller. The amplitude of the wave remains unvaried if there is a change in the frequency of the oscillating particle, the same is shown in the below figure. The amplitude of the wave depends upon the energy that a particle possesses while oscillating in a waveform. For amplitude to remain constant, the frequency has to be decreased if the energy gets reduced. How does amplitude relate to frequency? The amplitude of the wave is related to the energy of the wave and the energy is dependent upon the frequency of the wave. The amplitude is related to the frequency by the relation x equals a sin t plus, where x is a displacement of the wave. Is an angular frequency? Is a phase shift in radians and t is a time period of a wave. The angular velocity is the radial velocity and is equal to equals 2 slash t equals 2 f hence the equation above gives the relation between the frequency and the amplitude of the wave. What happens to amplitude if frequency increases? The amplitude of the wave gives an idea about the energy existing with the wave and the energy is directly related to the frequency. If the frequency increases then this indicates that the energy of the wave is more and the oscillation of the particle will be at a greater distance hence the amplitude of the wave might become greater if the velocity of the wave remains constant. The frequency is measured as the number of times the event has occurred in a unit interval of time and hence is inversely related to the time period. F equals 1 slash T. The frequency is also defined as the ratio of the velocity of the wave per wavelength and is given as F equals V slash. Where V is a velocity, F is a frequency, and is a wavelength of the wave. The energy of the wave is directly proportional to the frequency of the wave. E, F. E equals H, F. Where H is a Planck, S constant. Basically, if there is a variation in the frequency, then the velocity of the wave increases or decreases along with the frequency of the wave. If the velocity remains unchanged, then you can clearly measure the change in the amplitude of the wave. As the frequency increases, the energy increases, and so does the amplitude of the wave. Why does amplitude decrease when frequency decreases? The amplitude of the wave depends upon the energy that the particle carries in the form of a wave. If the energy of the particle is low then the frequency of occurrence of the particle in the wave decreases, and the length of the crest or trough up to which the particle can oscillate in the wave is held at a smaller distance due to less amount of energy available. This is because the frequency of the particle is related to the energy that the particle traveling in a wave occupies. The particle with more energy will travel at a high speed as the energy of the particle is elevated. The energy of the particle also stipulates the distance that the particle covers during its oscillation. The height of the wave is the amplitude of the wave and it is more if the energy of the particle is more. Frequently Asked Questions What affects the amplitude of waves? The amplitude of the wave is the sum of the crest and trough of the oscillatory path traveled by the particle. The oscillation of the particle depends upon the energy associated with the particle to travel in the form of a wave, the large is the energy acquired by the particle, the more will be the amplitude of a wave. Does the amplitude of the wave tell about the speed of the wave? If the frequency of the wave is more, then it is obvious that the speed of a wave is high. 
The amplitude of the wave is large if the energy of the particle in a wave is inflated. The energy is directly related to the frequency and the frequency is proportional to the speed of the wave, thus we can find the speed of particles in a wave. How does the intensity of the wave be dependent on the amplitude of the wave? The intensity is measured as the amount of the energy's wave incident on the unit area. The particle in a wave always carries some amount of energy with it. The greater the amplitude of the wave, the more is the energy it will release on the area on which it is incident, whereas a wave with less amplitude carries less energy. Does the amplitude of a wave decrease if the frequency increases? The decrease in the amplitude of a wave represents the lack of amount of energy by the particle oscillating in a wave. If the frequency increases, then we know that the energy of the particle is more, but if the energy does not change thus increasing the frequency, then it is relevant that the amplitude of the wave is decreased to increase the number of oscillations. Does the amplitude depend upon the frequency of the wave? The amplitude is actually independent of the frequency of the wave, but depends upon the energy that a particle carries. If the frequency of the particle in a wave does not change with variations in the energy of the particle then the amplitude of the wave will be affected and change accordingly. Please visit our website lambdageeks.com for more articles on technology, engineering, mathematics, and various other domains. scientific calculator and many more other tools.